portrait and why why we're receiving it. Okay, can you all hear me? Well, th this is a pleasure to have the Ogden family here, and you saw most a uh, good bit of them. It's not most of them; it's a small part of them. But we're glad to have uh, Catherine here. Catherine, you want to come on over? She's a, a artist, not only an artist that paints things or anything like that, but also a vocalist and is a professional uh, musician. So she's very talented, as all the organs are. But uh, we decided this is a good time to accept this portrait that, that uh, Catherine painted because we'd have a, a good audience. People came to hear uh, Andy Coleman speak. Uh, Bill or Billy and I were class, classmates. I was a couple of years ahead of him in residency. So we kind of grew up together. Uh, Bill was All-American football player at Presbyterian College. He was Phi Beta Kappa, and he kind of won every award you could get. And the, the societies he was a member of, he was always the president. He was a very talented individual. He developed uh, several orthopedic uh, implants like the Ogden uh, anchor, the Ogden plate and band, and a few others. He was an excellent surgeon, a fantastic teacher. And after he left here, he went to Danville, Virginia, where we used to have a resident rotation there. So he was appointed to our faculty then in the early 70s. After a few years, the family moved to Whiteville. <laughs> <laughs> and where he practiced for more than a dozen years and then went to the mountains up in Montreat. And that's where he really became more closely associated with the residents as he was the head of the VA up there and taught our residents. And he was selected as the Frank Bassett Teacher Award by you all, the residents. Uh, he was such a great teacher. He was an outdoorsman. He loved uh, shooting and hunting and fishing and oftentimes took our residents with him. So this is the, this really depicts Bill very well, Catherine. Thank you. And I'm going to let you say a few words maybe about okay. whatever you want to say. Okay. Um, well, it's, it's so wonderful to be here. I see so many doctors that have eaten at our table and um, the, you know, okay. 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 Hopefully they can hear me now. Um, we've the Piedmont is really about the relationships uh, that my father created with these wonderful doctors, and I have something. Is it, is it okay if I read it? It's super short, and I'll, I'll rip it out because I know y'all have things to do. Um, let me put my glasses on. Um, Dr. Urbanic, Dr. Goldner, Dr. Coonrad, Dr. Bassett, Dr. Richardson, Dr. Baker, Dr. Fagan, Dr. Fitch. These are all names I've heard my entire life, people as familiar as family. Duke was a foundation that shaped my father's career. Those who knew him knew the Renaissance man, the ex-football player who could tear up a banjo, hold a 12-gauge shotgun with one hand, and shoot 25 out of 25 with a fully lit pipe in his mouth. But he was also innately brilliant. And what Duke did was take that brilliance and polish and mold it by the influence of the great orthopedist that I just mentioned. My father loved Duke. The education he received here shaped his career and inspired the Ogden Band and Plates, like Dr. Urbanic said, an invention he developed while here. He transferred his passion and teaching and innovation to the residents he trained. When he started practicing in 1972, he welcomed residents into his clinic. Dr. Job, Dr. Nunley, Dr. Komen, Dr. Uh, T. Moorman, Mac Aldridge, um, and many, many others, and they ate dinner with us and hung out with us and went to shoot skate with us. They were very much like family. Two residents, Dr. Greg Motley and Dr. Jeff Allman, actually became my brother-in-laws. Uh, and my son and my daughter used to think when they were young that the residents were their older cousins. <laughs> So, and actually I taught school in Charlottesville, Virginia, and um, the director of the school left for a couple of days to get his shoulder done. And he asked, when he came back, he asked me about my middle name and I, he asked like, yes, I'm an Ogden. And he said, I just had an Ogden anchor put in my shoulder. Do you know anything about that? And I was like, I proudly stated that is my father. And then it turns out 
I was like, who's your doctor? It turned out his doctor was James Brown, who was one of my father's residents. And my parents somewhat adopted them when they were in Asheville. Um, but we're giving this portrait, uh, not only for the wonderful relationships that Duke has given our family, um, but he, it's uh, about the scholarship that they established. Um, my father began taking us to Sea Island when we were very young. There were seven of us, the oldest a boy and six girls. They thought nothing of throwing us into a van and taking us down to this very academic meeting for fancy clothes, fancy food. And it was something we look forward to every year. And they not only took us, they took our husbands and their grandchildren. So it was a tradition that spanned three generations. Um, they, my sister, Mary Mack, who's here, she loved it so much that she went to Sea Island against doctor's orders and went to labor in the old Sea Island dining room and had her, Mary Lacey, who's here too, who was born at the Piedmont that night. Um, my father and mother established the Bill Ogden Jr. Memorial Fund in memory of my older brother and their only son. He was killed when he was 19 years old. They established it to carry on his memory and also to allow one resident to take his or her family to the Piedmont to establish their own traditions. Um, in 1993, my father spoke at Grand Rounds right here. And in the audience that day were two Duke residents who he'd never met. My father opened the lecture by stating, never forget where you come from and give back to the institutions that mold you. The two residents, Greg Motley and Jeff Allman became his son-in-laws and never forgot that speech. My father served others and he gave back and Duke was number one on his list. Duke has always, um, my father is a link in a chain of Duke orthopedics that continues through the Goldner Fund he helped establish, the Bill Ogden Jr. Travel Fund, the Piedmont, and the many, many friendships and residents that we've remained close to throughout the years. Um, and finally, uh, whenever I left my father's presence, he would say to me, think of me. And hopefully, when you view the painting, whether it be directly or in your peripheral vision, you will think about him, his legacy, and the other amazing orthopedics that I mentioned in this paper and think of their legacy and hopefully they will inspire you for the future. So Godspeed to all of you on becoming orthopedic surgeons. If my dad were here, he would say, know your anatomy because if you don't, you don't know where to cut. <laughs> but thank you so much. <clears throat> And uh, let's let's have the Ogden family stand up in the back up there. You know, you know. Um, what one final word? Uh, your dad, uh, Bill, he he liked to stir up controversy. That was a lot of fun for him. He would he would I would be operating, and he would walk in the operating room, and he'd look over and he'd say, Jim, Jim, Doctor Goldner wants to know why you're doing that operation. <laughs> <laughs> he loved to do things like that. Um, Sorry, you want to say something? No, we're going to move this. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you. Okay, that's. Yeah.